Welcome back to the Black Parade. So we've dumped uh, the Dead Hammeronic Priest in DeWall's secret torture chamber. Uh, and we've looted everything of value out of his house, including the chalice and the, and very importantly, the gemstone. And uh, I suppose when, on the pretext of investigating the break-in, when the uh, corrupt cop comes round on the following day, he's going to also stumble accidentally into the uh, torture chamber and discover the priest and cause all sorts of ruckus with, I guess that'll be a, hmm, I don't really know how that's supposed to um, help bring down the wall, it doesn't quite, obviously the whole thing is a setup, so the Hammerites are going to learn about it, even if <laughs> um, the wall tries to do anything with the cops. But uh, Hammerites being upset with him, to me, doesn't seem like enough, right? He's a warden of the city. He's big crime lord. Yeah, he wouldn't want the entire set of Hammerites opposed to him, but it's really... I don't know. I don't know how that's going to depose him, but that's Raputo's plan, so... Presumably, that's between DeWall and Raputo. We got what we came for. We got the gemstone. We also got the chalice, which we can, I guess, resell again. And we got a whole bunch of money we can use to buy items for the next mission. So let's find out what the next mission's all about. I guess it's, I guess it's about getting the strings for this harp, right? We've got the harp, but I need strings. And then the grand finale will play some beautiful music on it. I don't know. But let's see. See what happens next. Makes them shrines to the Jacksbury and decorates them with relics. Worthy sanctuaries, sacraries, sacred sanctities keep the abhorrent away as they whisper venomful, rotten words to the abyss. False ambitions of bloodshed and detestation. In defiance of the Honeymaker and the Woodsy. With the wall out of the picture, and with Aldrea's demise in my possession, it's now time to go after the second artifact I need to break the spell. It's a signet ring that belonged to a powerful archmage of yore, Taedir, and is buried with him in a derelict mortuary northwest of the city, beyond the mountains. The Archmage is apparently the one responsible for imbuing items with magic, using an ancient scripture called Abubtiar's Tablets. The mortuary is located deep in the Hag Hill Forest, a vast woodland with a lone Hammerite road in the middle, and many highwaymen looking for travelers and cargo to plunder. The tome I found in the Keeper Sanctuary is very specific about the location of the catacombs, but it doesn't have any useful information on what I might find inside, as well as the location of Teidir's tomb. Let's hope Abubtiar's tablets aren't too far away as well, as I'll need them if I want to stand a chance against these creeps. Thankfully, the book I found in that library should help me decipher them. This job won't be easy, and I'm prepared for the worst. I have no idea what awaits me there. So I should stock up on holy water and other undead repellents just in case. I know for a fact upsetting the dead is never a good idea, and getting back alive is an ordeal in itself. The full moon is high in the sky, and most of the potential highwaymen prowling the area should be asleep by now. Let's do this. Alright, so I do know one thing about this mission. Uh, and that is, this mission comes with a warning for arachnophobia. It has reportedly some fairly intense spider stuff, which I guess I'm going to, uh, well, I'm going to have to just try and push through, because uh, I'm not a fan of that stuff. Uh, we'll see how, how bad I find it, but uh, if you're sensitive to uh, that, that's, there's a warning. Um, I certainly am. If you've seen any of my other videos of spider stuff, you've seen how I don't react very well to it. Uh, I 
don't believe this has spider-related jump scares though, so I'm, that's why I'm prepared to uh, go through with it and just kind of, you know, slay any spiders I can find or whatever I need to do to get through. That Keeper Tome spoke of their expedition here and of their failure to recover the strings of special silk within. You'll need them to access Taylor's tomb. Okay. There's no mention of that at all in the uh, um, briefing. But I guess that, I mean, that probably explains the spiders, right? The spiders that we need. I don't know why you need them to access Taylor's tomb because, oh, maybe, oh, maybe the whole point of the, maybe the only purpose of the half is to open the tomb. I don't know. I don't know how to string a harp. That's a pretty skilled job. Tita's signet ring is the last enchanted trinket you need to give the mages in Highwatch Castle so they can stop Azaran and remove the curse upon you. Who? What? Your life depends on retrieving it. What mages in Highwatch Castle? I don't remember any deal with any mages in Highwatch Castle that I was delivering stuff. I thought I was getting this stuff so I could enact the stuff we read about to stop things. That feels like a hole somewhere. Anyway, the keepers are sure that above to your tablets contain the, uh, the process for breaking your brand to find them. And there's no chance the opportunistic raiders who passed through these paths before had anything near your talents for theft. Finding 1500 loot should be trivial in this mortuary. If you kill anybody here, you'll learn all about the cutthroat justice of the bandits who prowl Hag Hill Forest to light in carrying out. Don't do it. The weight of your brand is heavy. Leave as soon as your tasks are finished. That does feel like as soon as I've done all the other objectives, it's gonna... Well, the, 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 I guess I've just gotta leave. I guess that's just like, get out when all your tasks are done. It's just fancily worded. All right. Yeah, it only seems to change the loot goal and the kill goal. That's fine. All the all the things we've got to find are things we've got to find. Regardless, I mean, I've been playing mostly on expert. I guess I can keep playing on expert. I've got quick save. I guess if I run into too many health health related problems. We don't. We do have a lot of money for buying shit with. So um. Well prepared is the plan here. Except on Tater's Signet, a useful passage from the book about Azaran that you covered in the Keeper Compound. I will read that before we start there. We've got the harp. An unstrung harp, reckoned by the Keepers to be involved with some mechanism inside the mortuary. Shame they couldn't find out more. Well, we will have to do so, I suppose. Two smoke bombs. Um. String last one rep. Uh. One rope is not great. I want the mines, I want the healing potions, I want the flash bombs, right? That feels like what I want to begin with. I don't think I care about the strength potion. I don't mind about hindrance and carrying stuff. And it's 350 is a lot of money. Uh, I think I want another rope arrow for safety and now I'm running out of stuff because I want fire arrows and I have no money left. I definitely want more. Well, I probably want more water. Hmm. Well, if I'm not expecting many human enemies, I guess I don't need the flash bombs. Get two of those and I get some more water arrows. I'm going to just guess another broadhead. I mean, we are going to be dealing with the. Bandits, highwaymen, right? But flash bombs would be good for that. But we've got smoke bombs, and hopefully we can use those effectively. I have them bound to a hotkey now. Um, I just I just went and bound the disruption bombs and the smoke bombs to F two and F three. So that's my hotkeys for uh, emergency equipment. Oh, I start with one healing potion. All right, let's take one flash bomb with this. Grab one more water arrow. And we've still got three healing potions. I've got one flash bomb, which I like for an emergency situation. That's, I'm much more happy with that. Let me step out. 
Yeah, uh, in the open. In the open forest, do we have a map of the place? That's my campsite, so we'll be heading south. That looks like a cliff, I guess. The highwayman's camp is in the southeast. And we just don't know where the tomb is, so we're gonna have to find it, I suppose. They probably know where it is. Maybe we can just go ask them and say, hey, I don't have any money on me because I spent it all on shit to murder you with if you attack me, but I don't have to murder you if you can give me directions, right? I really love this map. Like, just... It looks cool. Looks great. It's so much better than... Uh, I would expect... Oh, we got a tent. Oh, a bottle. Oh, hello. There is another rope arrow there. I didn't need to buy one. Oh well. Feels a little... I don't know, cheeky. Making me waste my money like that? Two repairs would be fine. One is not sufficient. I don't like how enclosed this space is. And how well lit it is. There's bright mushrooms everywhere. This is not a dark forest. Loot, so I thought it would be a sack of flour or something. Okay. That's a huge sack. That's like enormous. Shot while sleeping. Because of this endless war, guilds are taking the opportunity to feel forced to take longer roads and apply absurd prices to the poor merchants. It is time for us independents to make money. Whitfield wants you to bring these bags of flour to Arkwood. In truth, they are nothing but cement dust to fake any controls. The true goods are hidden in one of those bags. Go to Black Ring's Gap to gain some time. Go straight and you'll never get lost. Okay, that explains why that's looted. It's, it's, uh... Wait, they've, they've got cement? They've invented cement? Right, this must be what's marked on the map. It's not... It's, it's a ravine. And not, uh... Can I not pencil out of here? Huh? Ah, this is awkward. Can I, is, that, is that a probable mushroom? No, it just looks like one. I've got boulders, should I need them? I would have thought a bag of flour with the actual goods would be fine. Oh, this is my campsite. Alright, so this place is not as big as the map suggests. So I guess we're going to have to run across the highwayman. So my smoke bombs are ready, I guess. Camp, right? What am I seeing? Flies. <sighs> oh, moss grows on some of these trees. On the south sides of trees, which is nice. <laughs> Oh, we can't. There is some. Oh well. Okay, they're doing. They're doing the pitch black ambience here. Oh, that's bad. Oh man, don't tell me they're going to do that with the spiders. That, that's going to suck. If so, I mean, it sucks always having absolute pitch black. Especially, I'm like, just all the fucking light in this forest. There should never be anything pitch black. Are there any other south sides of trees that are? So what I thought was like end of map. 
Wow, I can be I can be super brightly lit up when it is absolutely pitch black. Okay, this is just terrible. This should never happen. If it's gonna be absolutely pitch black all around, it should never be lit up. Yes, there is navigable space out here. Anyway, what was I saying? South sides, any south, other bits of moss on the south faces of trees? Probably worth a quick look, because it's always useful to have some moss. Maybe it's just that one. Yeah. Seems like it was just that one. Okay. Well, actually, I think as another muscle too would have been uh, certainly welcome. Got up at that time without having to mantle. That's a training dummy, right? That's not moving. <sighs> I don't think there's any highwaymen alive there. I think something terrible has happened to them. Oh, hang on. I mean, that could be some something they have anyway. But that's those are not those are not guards. I don't know what's going on here. I've oh, got another boulder if we need it. I wonder what happened here. So we could head east from here as well. Maybe I need to find out. <sighs> More broadheads. I won't say no to that. Another healing potion. Beautiful. Bread. 262nd day. Do you mind? Flies, thank you. Emil, Jabajor, and I went to look for a stream. We just don't have the choice no more. However, instead of water, we found something else entirely. A tumulus or some such. We all agreed we'd like to explore it, but I guess that'll be for another time, because Kligan was bitching and saying we were wasting time. 265th day. We took our sweet time to observe and explore that thing. Jabajor even thought of bringing arrows, just in case. Damn, that thing is really deep. We burned through six candles, and we didn't even see the bottom during that time. If there even is one. It just goes too deep to be a natural formation. We decided to come back to the surface before finding ourselves in pitch blackness. That fool Emil wanted to carry on by his lonesome, said we made the trip for nothing. Jabberjaw gave him the arrows, and we climbed back up. We still managed to return at dusk before anyone got too curious. 277th day. Those damn noises woke us again. Something's been skulking around the camp during the night for days, perhaps even weeks at this point. This time, though, it was really close, and much louder than before. The boss got the heebie-jeebies and organized a hunt to kill that beastie or whatever that is. We told him again and again that it was too big and too noisy to be some brown cathy job that was attracted by the roasting meat. We found nothing, but several guys thought they saw something. We found nothing, but several guys thought they saw something, like a silhouette. What a waste of time. Still no news from a mill. Jabberjaw thinks he's rotting underneath the tumulus, and yep, we should have never have descended. That he's been having nightmares during the night or whatever. I'm convinced he found something down there that's precious enough he can leg it, and I want a part of the hole. Yeah, agreed, huh? Your basis for decision making. Never a problem. <laughs> that's cute.
if I make that. Oh. Order to follow from this day on and until further notice. In case you're too drunk or deaf to remember, here are the rules you all have to follow until further notice. Disobey once, and I'll have you clean the shitter, patrol during that time, and hunt vermin. Disobey twice, and I'll have you flogged with the cat of nine tails 15 times, in addition to no fire and no food for three days. Disobey thrice, and you get the noose, quick like. No one is to do someone else's job. No one can refuse to do their job. No one can answer back to me unless I say it's fine. No one is to hide food, water, or gold. No one is to leave camp unless I say so. And lastly, no one is to sleep during their rounds until we know what is responsible for these noises we heard during the last few nights. I order that three guards be awake during the day and five during the night. Also, if I see any of you try and ask me to move camp elsewhere, I swear I'll the builder and I'll gut you like a pig. Either we make an effort to be organised or we end up caught by the Hammerite patrols and it's the wheel for us. I hope this is all clear for you. Your boss. Does he not have a name? I mean, I guess they know his name. And he's just saying, I'm the boss here, so you guys better do what I say. <sighs> Broken arrow. I do like that we've got the fake guards set up. Oops. Well, that's the news, right? Is that somebody they captured? Doesn't look like a high rent moves out, but I don't know if I know for sure. Oh. Well. Okay. <laughs> 289 is dead. Jabador won't break bread with me anymore. What with anyone? He's dead because I was greedy. We never should have gone there. That was the worst idea I had. Things there should stay there. Forgotten things that should stay forgotten. Things older than time, I reckon. So old I feel my stomach turn and I vomit and I can't even think. I'm hurting and my muscles are aching because of all that running and my skin hurts because of my shivering. I want to forget. 298th day. People keep disappearing. Maybe they deserted, but who can blame them? Same screams every night. Stuff disappears every night. Nightmares don't stop. Boss doesn't want to leave, says everything under control and that we should trust him. But how can we trust someone who went mad? This morning he bashed a bloke's head in with a mallet because he took too much time to eat. Don't know what day it is no more. This is the end. The proud Blackerin gang ends here. Mutiny this morning and the boss bastard got what was coming. They all left after that except Kriggan and Mathis who reckon they can dig to reach the boss stash. I don't care no more. Gonna see if the hammers would take me at an abbey. Before I can go I must finish writing on these pages so that I can forget and warn you. Leave. Leave now. The evil eye haunts this place. Madness and damnation await behind every tree. And if you are foolish enough to ignore me and explore this foul tumulus, know that there are worse things than death. So I guess that was the boss hanging over the gate that... After the mutiny. No, I mean, that doesn't make sense, does it? Well, maybe. You say normally you hang things over the gate as a warning to other people approaching, but... If they were just really had had it up to here with the boss, it kind of makes sense. They would uh, hang him, and it is a good, convenient beam to hang from, right? Or well, whatever be for all these guys. Doesn't seem to be still here. Oh. It's another dinosaur turd. Or it's a chrysalis of some kind. I don't like the look of that. I do like the look of the moss arrow. Hmm. Okay. Well, it doesn't. Can't cut it open. Boss's stash, you say? I wonder if they ever found it, or if it's still here waiting for me. I could do with some of that. Forget what I said earlier about greed and decision making. You know, that was just me making a little joke. It's not, <gasps> not actually the truth, right? <sighs> Is this... Water. Can't see it. Literally can't see it. It's literally black. <sighs> Black. Well, someone lost their money. I 
Where's this guy? Okay, that's... This must have been bosses. What is and that's the tunnel to bosses stash, I guess. I'll have a look at that in a minute. I was hoping to get out this window, but I can't get out the window. More food. Surprised the food isn't spoiled. Must be pretty cold. I feel like if it goes near that thing, it's going to uh, suddenly hatch something out, right? I was told there were no jump scares of that sort, but I don't know that I trust that, that qualification. Potion, okay. I don't have that on a keybind, but I don't use them very often. I don't really understand them well enough to use them effectively anyway, right? <laughs> Saw that tree there in the skybox and thought it was like a radio tower, which would have been kind of weird. Okay, so there's only that little hut there that I haven't, and the tunnel, of course. I haven't explored. Let's go across this route. Still don't want to go near that. I'm going to... Oh, I can loop to the roof anyway. Avoid going near that thing. For now, because again, I don't trust... Oh, this is just the... the... <sighs> Outhouse, that makes sense. <sighs> uh, stay paranoid. <sighs> That's the way you survive. in this house, so I need to go for the door. Undead bike this time. I wonder if that's all that's left of the boss's stash. Wow, that's a. I've smashed up that table pretty good. Oh, hello. Another road <laughs> Okay, I definitely didn't need to buy one. I like that. This the first time, you know, you've seen these, these cupboards everywhere, and this time it's got the uh, <sighs> half open door. <sighs> Someone's giggling around there. Never trust these useless mutts. They don't understand. They simply don't understand and they never will. But I know they know. They want to get out. But now that they know, they must stay as I'm staying here since I know. I'm the only one who knew there was, a, knew there was an old hermit living here and I'm the only one who heard his last dying words as he was dead long, long ago. Dead men can talk. Worse, he continues to live on in my head. When I sleep, I sleep in the same sheet where he kicks the bucket. What's that? Leather case of some sort, I guess. Well, you're the only one who knows, huh? Is there... It does look like a ledge there. It also looks pitch black. 
So I, I couldn't see you even if there was something up there. Although it would highlight if there was something that I could grab. So is this where they... Hmm. Can I fit down this? It looks a little small. Yeah, it is too small. What am I seeing down there? Another dead barrack? Doesn't look like it to me, but... Can't tell. <sighs> Cannot tell. Alright. I guess we're done with the bandits' camp, then. Probably about time to get a move on. Head eastward through this forest. We can find this tumulus. You know, the fancy Latin word for lump. Lump of madness. Is that it? That's like steps up a hill. How do you even find, how do you even recognize Jimmy Olsen in this forest? It'd be like, everything's, there's lumps everywhere. They're called hills and trees. Okay, here's the ravine again, so I guess we're not going any further that way. I guess we're going up, going up the hill. Noise in the bush. Oh, thankfully, we've got all these steps in, making it easier to climb this hill. For wayward people like me. Like that's. That's not like two meals. It's another slipping ladder. I really don't like the looks of that. I'm gonna try and climb on it. I'm gonna slide and fall because instead of instead of climbing, as Hume has already internalized my uh, my likes and dislikes about uh, movement in this damn game. Uh, what was I saying? Something about archaeology. I mean, it's a tomb or something. It's, some, it's a construction, clearly, because there's walls visible. We'll see. Yep, slide. Not into danger this time, so I guess it's okay. Uh, well, what was the last mission I was playing where they had pitch black ambient? I was just saying how shitty it is to do it. And here we go again. Oh, I don't want to go down that. I don't know how far that goes down. I want to go down here. I mean, it goes down a long way. What can I see down there? Some rope, wooden boards, and a bucket. A bucket, maybe? I'm not sure. Can't take the lantern with me. Of course not. Look at this. Is there any? Is there a wall? There's a wall here, but how can you tell there's a wall? All right, got a rope. Can I pull this? Leave this one out? No. Another rope arrow. Wow! I really did not need to spend two hundred gold on that one. That's that's three rope arrows. The mission has given me. One of them, that one was almost unmissable. I guess I'm going to be using ropes. It means I've got plenty of ropes to leave. 
In strategic places, I suppose. Low. I guess two of them died when they were exploring and they didn't mention it in the diary? Where are the stakes in the ground here? That's a glyph. Warning about what? Craymen? Or something worse? I like this rock texture. I wonder where that's from. <coughs> that's fine. Eat some bread, cabbages, carrots. That's all the food. There's only two hit points. Right, so that's where the ladder was. It's a hammer. That I've seen. It's not wood, it's brick. But. What do I see right there? Oh, that's the hole in the wall that I passed a bit ago. Okay. What is that? That did not look natural. Nor safe. I thought the wind. I thought it was just like, oh, this weird wind blowing through here. That's not a weird wind. That's some some. Some magical monsters is going on here, isn't there? Well, I mean, magical nonsense is why I'm here, so I guess. Guess we're just gonna have to deal. Can't take that lantern either. Little the uh, lanterns, which is you know just welcoming, right? Look at those lovely welcoming flames. Nothing ominous. Well, majors, this must be the right place. Sneak around behind, so if this main path is trapped, then. And that's too bad for me. I was gonna say these statues are missing their heads, but no, the heads are just in shadow. I'm not sure if that's better or worse. I don't think falling down there is a good idea. Hello, we got. Bridge above? I can't repair that. I don't see any way to climb up there. Guess we'll just keep pushing on. Stairs down. Beyond, behold the tomb of Tadir. Sweet song and silk alone shall allow those disciples yet descended to cross and countenance the wisdom within. Song and silk is what I'm gonna need. Hello, there's somebody up there. There's a ghostly figure of some sort. See through them. <sighs> well, there's no getting over that chasm. Alright. Left or right? I don't have any kind of map of this place, do I? No. I'm not, it's not like I'm drawing one as I go along. The 
the vaults of Yezath. Well, that's a spidery thing, isn't it? I think that's a dead barrack, not an undead one. I am expecting to be jump scared, even though I was, you know, kind of told there weren't any, but I'm not 100% sure that. It feels like it's setting up to jump scare me with some enemy. That's a tripwire. That is a dang tripwire. Where's that boulder? Do I really want to go back out and get a boulder to set off the tripwire, or do I go around? Let's try going around first. Maybe there'll be a convenient boulder or something I can pick up and throw over here. This one does not look like it has a tripwire. The Pillars of Silence. That wasn't silence. This area doesn't look too terrible. Although that room is absolutely pitch black 100%. I won't be able to see where I'm going in it. Or I will. I guess that's one answer to the problem of, well, you've made the level pitch black, we'll just also make lights that light it up spookily to reveal all the horrors waiting for you when you set foot inside. I guess this is kind of a what if the lost city but black parade version. Because we've got all these auto lights everywhere. Who are you? Care. I mean, it's a little weird. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Is there anything on these bookcases I need? I don't see any sign of it. So maybe I just leave them alone and don't make noise in the library unnecessarily. I make mean, it ring the gong. Wait, is this the same room I came in? Yeah, I came through there, okay. I just didn't remember the gong. So he's down there, and this is probably noisy. Um, there's a gravity defying statue here that's broken. Does that concern me? I don't know for sure this floor is noisy, but it certainly looks like it would be. I think our friend is busy in the library and would not appreciate being disturbed. The question is how many more of his mates are around that I can't see.
Oh, that's a nice touch. So they've taken the, uh, the stock kind of angel statue that was holding the talisman and replaced it with a mage face. Nice. Nice detail. Okay, there are pitch black corners. What? Oh, shh. That scared the hell out of me. That was just me. I moved out of the room, so the light went out. Alright, I've been down there. Hello? I can't even see the steps here, but there's, there, there are steps there. I thought I was hiding in a pitch black corner, but no, it was... I would never have found that if I hadn't backed into it and wondered why there was more wall. I spooked myself with the, this room light going out. That's... Well, you know, spook myself and find loot is... I guess it's a paradigm. There's the other building, the bridge to the other building. I'm still curious about, but there's so much more of this one to discover. In the silence. Feeling my way along the wall because I can't see anything. Kind of feel like it might be a bad idea to step in the water. If nothing else, it won't be silent. These are the Towers of Silence, and I feel like breaking that silence too much would be awkward. Okay, that's the steps. No, one of those two is the steps the other building I found. Or no. No, it's these ones underneath me. That's how I got to this section. I didn't, did, I didn't come down those steps today. I don't think so. I think I went across the bottom there. Does that mean there's a way over there that I missed? Probably. How would I find it? Oh, there's a place up here too. I don't think I can reach that though. There's a window here. That's how I came in. Uh, one problem at a time, I guess. Let's not second guess myself too much. I'm here. That was the plaque that said the Towers of Silence, isn't it? at the other one. Whatever, I'm here. I guess we keep looking. Is this a noisy floor? Okay, I'm not sure. I feel like maybe it is. Well, something else is going on. Yeah, they've changed, the walls have changed, the floors have changed, let's come back to that. the headless major's room. This is the bridge we saw at the start. The weird thing is we're seeing no sign of the explorations of the, uh, the highwayman. That's going into. That's completely leaving this mortuary area. I think I need to find out what's going on down those other steps before pushing on down here and maybe see about finding that other tower I didn't see. Still be careful. 
still be quiet. Okay, this is a quiet floor too. Thankfully. Oh, there's something down there. I mean, I saw this block before, right? We were up there. I don't remember reading it. No, I would remember the top tipped over... Uh, whatever you want to call it. Thing what has fire in it. Do I jump? I guess I risk noise. I just hear footsteps of white mine. Did I just spook myself by moving? I heard my own footsteps and thought they were someone else's. I could have sworn I wasn't stepping when I heard them. the tales of silence, and I was not silent. I'll be good. No one. I promise. Oh, well, I'm not getting any further down anyway. Unless I drop down here, I suppose. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to take a risk on this. Yes. There's another one of those figures. I did hear footsteps that weren't mine. I wonder if they only react to noise if they can't see. I, Seth Thogoth, led 1,000 men to construct this grand necropolis. As one, we carved its magical stones and raised its splendid halls. To conceal this place, they were slain, and their remains laid into the walls. And so they rest eternal in the presence of the Archmagus. Okay, so this isn't the steps I saw before. Maybe they are. Yeah, this is the gong room. Now, other library friend is out that way. So how do we get up there? There's gotta be upstairs here or some passage I didn't see, right? Maybe there's a passage out of the library that I didn't see? I mean, not seeing a passage is of course a poss possibility. Oh no, I went there. Or above the library, I went there, I went out there, okay. I just didn't remember it. So this is the only way I haven't been, apart from the excavation. I don't know the way back to the excavation now, sort of. So what is your deal, sir? You have skeletons in the walls. A skeleton in the coffin with a scepter of sorts. <laughs> We did not react to the, the loot cling, so... Oh, right. You're one of them. Okay. That's... Awkward. Hmm. 
easily can see a lot past this. Probably. Be silent, sir. explain why the other guy wasn't moving at all. I wonder... whether they had this set up before or after Nyx did Malazar's Inscrutable Tower? Was it inscrutable? Some ad some adjective. With the uh, the same weeping angels set up, look at them and they can't move. Um Wait, so maybe I didn't go that way. Right, I went this way and I didn't go up here. Or I went up here and there was nothing, I can't remember. Well, there's a noisy floor. Oh, right. Okay, I've been down there. There's also water flowing in the walls. Very magic. Right, because I looked up this up through this hole in the roof, right? <laughs> I guess we need to go to the underground bits. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, because it would have been it would have been really annoying if they'd been planning that and scripted it up and everything before Malazars. Only to then see Malazar's released and see the exact same Weeping Angel thing that you've been planning as a spooky, as a horrifically spooky surprise in your mission. And I'm, you know, I'm here I am blase about it because I've played it, I know how it works. I played Malazar's, I knew how it, I know how it works and also how to cope with that and in terms of managing it, distracting when the AI lose track of you long enough that you can safely lose track of them, as it were. So that was a dead end. This was the way... Okay. Yeah, this is the way to do further excavations, the way deeper into this place, I presume. Or at least a way to find some silk to make some harp strings. Man, I had no idea that the job of a luthier was so demanding. So what awaits us? Definitely not being silent anymore. So what awaits us in these caves? Guess we'll have to find out in the next episode. So keep your uh, bowstrings tight and tense for that.